Hi there, I'm Elizabeth Reesberg. I'm a TTAP trainer. I'm from New Mexico now. Now. I was in St. Louis. I spent the last two months there. Um, it's been a bit of an adventure this year. Um, this year, last year, the year before that. It's been a roller coaster as, you know, we've, we all have those moments. I was trying to think back. I started being a trainer in training in 2011, I think. Michelle's not in here to correct me. Oh, she is. 2010 or 11, I can't actually remember. Um, but life happened several times. Mom's breast cancer diagnosis. Uh, I don't remember what was after that one. And then dad had his lung crisis and we wound up with a double lung transplant. And after he got that lung transplant, I said, that's it. I'm getting my certification. I can't keep putting this off. So I came down here, dislocated my shoulder right before challenge, <laughs> and did not complete the challenge. I think it was the day after the challenge started. My son took me out on the mountain. I was skiing with him, and he, seven years old, mom, look out. I'm going to hit me. Got a hold of my arm. and took me down the mountain. But I got here by August and had it myself corrected and was able to certify that year. Um, next year was one year celebration of my dad's gift of life. Thought, we're sailing now. He was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer at his one year anniversary of his transplant. So the next roller coaster started and Training, kind of, I, I did what I could, but I had moved to New Mexico um, at the time and kind of rode that roller coaster. And la in January, he finally, 17 months in, on a, you have six to 12 months, he, he we, we finally told him, you need to go. It's okay for you to go. Um, but that was coming up on my 40th birthday. He was gone. And I wasn't about to let another challenge slip by without tackling it myself. So I, okay, we're gonna do the challenge. I'm a trainer now. I set up all the, I set up my four workshops to get us through the challenge. I'm gonna get my students through the challenge. Week before the challenge, I went face first down a flight of steps and chipped a bone in my foot course. So I did the entire challenge with seated and floor workouts. I was going to come down and do just the more certification this year, but then I got to spend 60 days doing floor workouts. So change of plans. We added hit the floor because it didn't make sense to not do it after I had spent two months doing them. Um, and then I used more after I was finally able to stand again. The only standing workouts I did the entire challenge were the four classes I taught. So basic, and I, I think we only did basics because the students really were at the level that we really just spent a lot more time doing basic plus and tweaking everybody's form. So what I want you guys to realize, um, in the challenge I lost 12 inches with just doing floor and Four workouts. So what I want you, there, you have to be able to do whatever it is that you can do. And I didn't think it was fair to my students to show up and be like, I haven't worked out in three weeks because I can't stand up. So I did whatever it was that I could do. There were still things I couldn't do. Don't ask me to do ladybug even today. I get my foot in that, and for crab claws, I, and it starts squealing. So. <laughs> There are things that you go, all right, that, that move is not on my radar right now because you know your body and you know what to look for. You know when to say, all right, I'm not quite there yet. The strength isn't back. So I've spent two months in St. Louis and that's what I want kind of to let you guys know. I went back to clean out my grandmother's home because as soon as we celebrated the life of my father, my grandma passed. She lived in the same home for 60 years. 
I'm sure we've all experienced the child of, a depress of the Depression era home. And I spent the last two months cleaning, purging, and otherwise cleaning out a home that hadn't been, nothing had been thrown away in 60 years, is kind of where I got by the time we got done with this little adventure. I lived in a hotel. I lived on an air mattress in my grandma's bedroom floor. <laughs> and what I want to, you make do with what you have. I was, had a question last week and I was on a Skype call with Jen and we, I was in the gym, the hotel gym at three in the afternoon because nobody's in the gym at three in the afternoon. So I figure I'm safe to go to the hotel gym to do the Skype call. I get in the hotel gym, guy comes in to work out. I finished my call sitting in the hallway in a corner, like I went and like found the quietest corner in the hotel <laughs> and sit down with my laptop and finish my call with Jen. You have to make do, and yes, I was the weirdo doing in outs in a hallway <laughs> and having a conversation and trying to figure out what I needed to tweak or what it, where I was going with um, a move and I had a question and I wanted to, she was helping me answer the question and you make do. And if you've got a little corner, we were talking about talking to a mirror and practicing teaching in our mirrors. I'm like, I don't even have a full length mirror in this house because we've taken everything out, we're putting it on the market, it's stripped down to nothing. So you, what I want, you, you have a roller coaster and you're really, you're out there and you, you have to make do with what you can do. I've been, I was burning it at both ends in the middle and probably two places in between there. But I'm here now and just getting to be here is an amazing blessing and I can't wait to go back and push more of this onto my, my Albuquerque and Rio Rancho students. We're glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you.